This morning we have here His Excellency Wendell Delandro, the High Commissioner of Trinidad and Tobago to Ghana, Nigeria, Algeria, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Uganda, Tanzania, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, 10 countries. And he's here at the behest of his Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Majesty, this morning we have here His Excellency Wendell Delandro, the High Commissioner of Trinidad and Tobago to Ghana, Nigeria, Algeria, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Uganda, Tanzania, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, 10 countries. And he's here at the behest of his Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. If we recall, the year 2020, the, the independence celebrations of Ghana was held in Kumasi, and the special guest of honor that day was the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And he had very fruitful discussions with His Majesty Otun Fosei II. And I assured him and I requested that it would be nice for Otun Fosei to come for a state visit to Trinidad and Tobago. As we all recall, this should have happened earlier than now, but because of COVID and, and, and its related issues, we are not able to have the state visit. The Prime Minister has sent the ambassador here this morning to relay that information officially, even though letters have been written. And he's here to deliberate on the issues of the state visit of His Royal Majesty Otun Fosse to the second to Trinidad later this month to have bilateral discussions with the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And it would be remiss of me if I do not also state that His Excellency is a certified petroleum engineer who is very well versed in upstream oil and gas development and has had very, very various um, work experience in, in, in Africa and other parts of the world. He's here this morning with the Council, Council for Trinidad and Tobago Council for Ghana, His Excellency John Mitchell, who's also a son of Otun Fosse to the second, and other officials from the council in Accra, the Trinidad and Tobago Council in Accra. So the consulate is here, ably represented, and I'll leave His Excellency uh, Vendel Landro to give some remarks to Otun Fosse. Thank you very much. I'm here to bring greetings from not only my Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, but also from the newly elected, not elected, but newly appointed President, Christine Kangaloo. Uh, this is my first official visit to the palace, and I thank you for allowing me to come, one. I thought it fit that I'll be here prior to you going to Trinidad and Tobago for your inaugural visit next month, July the 30th. This is something that I think the Trinidad people would be looking forward to, to have what I call a true African king coming to Trinidad for the first time, to celebrate with us our emancipation. Not only emancipation as Bob Marley's emancipation of the mind, right, and body. So it's with that that I, I feel emotional coming here to do that because I was here in 2020 when the invitation was given by my prime minister. And I, I sat at the dinner. We were also hosted to a gala event on the Friday when we, when we were here. So now to be able to host you in Trinidad, to show my people what it is and to, to get the, to see true royalty, not Queen Elizabeth, but your Royal Majesty coming to Trinidad to celebrate with us. So I look forward to that. Uh, besides that, we're talking about the bilateral agreements, the tourism and different things that we'll be talking about. I also have to present agenda. This is the final agenda, visit itself, giving you the full agenda for the days that you'll be there where you'll have the visits to the Prime Minister, visits to the Yoruba village, visits to the addressing the Ghanaian descendants in Trinidad. Obviously, they said no work and no, and all work and no play. There'll be some golf in there too, right, that we're gonna organize. And you're not only gonna be visiting Trinidad, but also Tobago, our sister island. We see it as our paradise. 
In fact, that's where I, used to, I spend my vacations. I carry my kids to Tobago for vacation. Not Disneyland, but to Tobago. You'll be going there to visit Tobago and also to see the birthplace of our Prime Minister, probably in Mason Hall in Tobago. That's where he's from. So that'll be good there. I don't want to take up much more time, but again, I thank you for allowing me to come here. And definitely, this will be, be a memorable occasion for me in your presence. Thank you very much. I thank John for leading you here. Sure. Uh, I am aware that uh, there has been an invitation extended to me by the Right Honourable Prime Minister to, to visit uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Sure. And uh, I think my office has been preparing for that and they've had engagements with John all through for this. And, uh, uh, I'm sure the palace is also excited, being it that the, press, the Prime Minister was here on the 20th, 2020, on, uh, sometime on the 4th of March. So. To be here before the 6th of March celebration. And, uh, so. so we are all very eager to also visit Trinidad and Tobago. One, because uh, I feel it to be a part of me. So. And uh, my people are there, my brothers and sisters are there, and therefore it's more of excitement for me to go and see where they are. So. And I know also of the very long collaboration, George Padmore, for example, hasn't been in Ghana for all these years, and therefore the excite excitement is more so where you know that people like George Padmore who have been here, and then Kwame Nkrumah linking up with them and all that. So. Uh, we believe strongly that the linkage of brotherhood and sisterhood is there. So and in my own personal view, being the king of Ashanti also means that I'm going to meet my people also there. And so also to, to, to also relate to them in terms of our cultural identity and everything. And therefore, uh, uh, we all look forward to this visit. And I believe strongly that it will near to the benefit of Ghana and then Trinidad and Tobago. So, I think it's time that uh, the Caribbean linked with Africa more than looking at other places. And therefore, trade collaboration and everything must be something that we should be looking at now. Uh, unfortunately, after the colonialism, slavery and everything, we still have to accept that we are one people together. So, and that uh, uh, during the on, on, uh, on slavery situation where we have some of our brothers and sisters being sent to other places. So we still are within the same situation where politically, economically and everything, we are still being manipulated 400 years ago. We are still being manipulated by the same people. So and therefore, we now have to accept that, look, whether we like it or not, whatever happened during that time, we still have to come together jointly and look forward and develop together. Uh, uh, people in terms of human resource development, int trade, intra trade, and everything, and whatever resources we have in our countries, we stand to learn from Trinidad in terms of oil development, gas, and all that. Because you are ahead of that with gas development, engineering, and everything. What Yo. can we? Ben what? How can Ghana benefit from that here in Ghana? Because we are now in the teething stages of developing our, our gas trade, and I like this collaboration now where Ghana has signed an agreement with Trinidad and Tobago to develop our gas situation with the Ghana Gas Company. So those are all issues that we need to be looking at, internally developing together and then uh, developing our economies together. So Excellency, I thank you very much for this visit and I'm looking forward to being in your country. And please convey uh, my uh, message to the Prime Minister and the President that I have accepted and I'm looking forward to come and I'm looking forward to an enjoyable visit. But then also uh, to inure to the benefit of our two countries and our peoples, I will seek I further culture, but at the same time, the economic uh, side of it also would be something that I would want to be put on the table for us to know. Once I hear from the program that you have a Yoruba village, I also am looking forward to an Ashanti village there. So, so you may want to be looking at that also when I come, so that at least that will be long established that there's also an Ashanti village here. So I look forward to that. And so I thank you very much. So, so. Yo.